Hey beauties, it's Nikea here. Um, I was attempting another hairstyle when I started recording and that was a fail. But I was determined, I'm gonna record a video tonight. <laughs> so I literally had to go to my notebook and figure out like what am I going to do and I really need to do something with my hair. So I'm going to do a braidless crochet style. Um, it's gonna be half up, half down, really simple. Um, so just gonna part it from ear to ear, front and back, and then I'm going to part the back in half. All right, so let's go ahead and get that started. And I'm using old crochet hair, so I've used it before in my braidless crochet video. Um, so I'm gonna be using that, so you can reuse it. You know, if you take it out, don't cut the knots. And yeah, so it's in 1B and it's in 99J, Jamaican mounts. And um, y'all, let's get started. All right, I got my separate sections. I'm gonna split the back in half and put that into two low buns in the back of my head. And I'm just making sure that this section is detangled. So I'm wrapping the hair tie around a couple of times and then I'm gonna put it into a bun back there. I was gonna twist it at first, but that just wasn't working for me. So I just went to the buns. And don't really be too concerned about the buns because they're gonna be covered up by the curls. The curls are very full and voluminous, especially if you separate them like I'm going to show you. So you won't have to worry about those buns being shown. And the parts don't have to be as straight either because they're going to be covered up. Except for the ones on the side, I wanted to make sure that those were pretty straight because you could see that a little bit since this is a half up, half down style. So like I said before, I've used this hair before in my braidless crochet video. So I just took it out and put it in a bag <laughs> and now I'm using it again. So I'm taking the crochet hook and I learned this from my braidless crochet to ensure that I have enough hair underneath the hook and not to use itty bitty little sections. So I was very cognizant of making sure that I went under a substantial amount of hair before installing the crochet. So I looped it underneath, opened it up and pulled the hair through and it's secured in there. And I don't mind the fuzz and the frizz. I'm actually going through and separating some of them even further for this style. Because I want it to look, you know, as natural as possible as if it were my hair. And when I actually wore this hair to work, some of my students thought I had dyed my hair. So I think I was successful in this. not really being picky about if I'm using the 1B or the 99J. I'm just kind of picking them up randomly as I grab them out of the bag because I don't want it to look too like planned out. I'm just installing the crochet hair around the buns first and then I'm going to go back in and crochet some of the hair onto the buns and kind of crochet the buns down so that they do lay a little bit flatter and y'all see all this bundle of hair I'm telling you it's old hair and I'm just reusing it I promise you it's still good I love the way that it looks actually so I'm just going to continue, like I said, installing the crochet hair around the buns and then going on to the bun. As you can see here, kind of trying to pin it down and installing um, the hair that way. And I'm going to do that on both sides and I will meet y'all back in the front.
All right, the back is all done. It's to my desired fullness. So now we're gonna work with that front half. Now for me, you all know I say this every single time I do a video. I had some breakage in the front of my hair and some thinning on my edges. So I am going to use some gel and some edge control to lay it down. So I'm using my Argan Oil Eco Styler Gel. And no, Eco Styler Gel is not canceled for me. I do not have any issues with it. I have never had any issues with it. So I'm gonna do what works for me and you do what works for you. And I'm also going to be using the Cream of Nature um, Edge Control, but I'm using it in black. And this is great because I do have some thinner spots in the front of my hair that are growing back. So the fact that this Eco Styler, excuse me, the fact that this Edge Control is black makes the appearance of my edges a little bit fuller, especially on my temples. So I'm just applying that there and I'm going to smooth that out and I'm going to put this front section into a top bun. So it's going to be a bun similar to the ones in the back except for it's going to be at the top of my head. Alright, so I just pinned down the bun a little bit with bobby pins to lay it down and I'm going to install the same way that I did with the sections in the back. So as you can see, I'm separating the hair because I want it to be a little fuller and a little more frizzy. Just give it that natural look. So I'm going to separate those sections of crochet that I'm going to be using and then I'm going to install the hair around the bun first and then I'll start installing hair on top of the bun. So again, insert the hook underneath a substantial section of hair, open that loop at the top, and then loop the bottom of the hair through that. <laughs> Don't get it tangled like I did. <laughs> Redo. All right, again, Insert the hook underneath the substantial section of hair. Make sure the hook is closed when it's underneath your hair because you don't want to pull and snag. Loop the um, crochet hair through, open up that loop at the end, pull the opposite end through, and it is secure. So I'm gonna keep this all the way around the bun, and then I'm going to, like I said before, install some crochet hair onto the bun. And I wasn't too picky about, oh, I wanna do red now, or I wanna do the black color. I was just picking up whatever was available to me to give it a more, I guess, natural feel of where the color was so it wasn't looking so planned out. All right, now that I've got the ponytail top part and the back to the desired fullness, I'm just going to cut it with my hair cutting shears to shape it and just make it look nice. <laughs> um, so I'm just cutting off those straggly ends, trying to even it out and just to shape that back portion. And I'm gonna do the same with the ponytail part. 
So you can leave the ponytail at a longer length, shorter length, mid-size length, just whatever works for you. But you just want it to frame your face and for it to look nice and balanced. So that's all I'm doing here is just going through cutting and shaping. All right, here is the final look. It's all shaped and styled to my liking. This was a very quick, simple, easy style to install and it's easy to maintain. Thank you beauties so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment down below. And you can check out these two videos on the side. Click my picture to go to my channel. And I'll definitely be seeing you in the next one, beauties. Bye.